<laughs> More spring toys. It's um, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Middle of winter time, looking for spring. It's, well, this is a spring toy. Something bizarre though, because there's a green ball in it, and you hold it vertically to make it work. Can you see there's a very thin nylon thread there? Well, you can't see it, but you'll see it rotating. I'm going to wind it up first like that. It's going to climb upwards, and I'm going to let let. Now, what it's doing is it's it's um putting a good twist to that nylon thread, and then when I release it, it starts very slowly to descend. I'll put it into focus. Into, 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 into. So eventually the ball's going to drop out of the bottom. At least that's what should happen. Look at it, it's descending, 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 still going down. Doesn't seem to be getting any closer to the bottom. I suppose I could take it out and push it in the last bomb, but I think all that happens is it'll just sit there as well. It is actually an optical illusion. It's not moving at all. So there's the ball. It still hasn't got anywhere near the bottom, and it's just about run out of energy too. And of course, to take it out, all you do is just flip it out like that. And I'll put it in the bottom bomb, but it won't do any good down there. It still won't come out. It'll just keep rotating in the same place. It's a very, very nice optical illusion when you get a spiral like that rotating around. You seem to get upward or downward movements depending on how you're looking at it and things. So that's a good idea for a, a spring toy. The Slinky Toy Company, who makes those giant slinky springs, and I've got lots of, every 10 years or so, they decide to push the boat out a bit and come up with some new designs which are almost unlike slinkies but the, the, the springs here are this thing here the, the, the actual springs but covered in grey cloth or grey you know grey soft plush stuff so what's the idea of this well when you pull it back and turn it you suddenly see what they've done is they've made an elephant you know was a she elephant a mother elephant is it with pink ears and it's got a nice tail at the end there we are there's the tail and the body consists of the spring itself, so the kid can play with that, but imagine they're looking at an elephant. There's no legs on the elephant, I'm afraid, you know, it's not one of those, so it's got the semblance of an elephant, soft and plush, so for kids to play with, not overstretched, hopefully, and play with it. And it's got a mate too, because this can also slink around the savannah, because this is a, a zebra with that stripe, it has to be. He's got a nice big tail, this one too, look at that tail, my goodness. And he's got a body. Again, the spring's inside, but inside this cloth, which is now white and black, so it creates quite an effect like that. He's looking at his own tail there, goodness. So it's a lot of fun for kids to play with because it's a slinky spring, but I, I could just about do a slinky action like that, but it doesn't work very well. It's really meant for kids to enjoy and making fun of animals like uh, African ones, elephants and zebras and things. Clever, clever bit of design, that. Here's another of these bizarre motorized springs where something happens and it becomes more random and chaotic because of the spring there itself. This actually has two lots of batteries. It's got two batteries here, two um, AA batteries. It's got extra batteries in there. You couldn't do it with slip rings. You couldn't, you couldn't get the power to it. So when I turn it on, see what happens. That's quite spectacular, isn't it? You've got a light of light show there, which has been turned on with the centrifugal switch inside it. But if I put the thing down like that, it does all sorts of bizarre. Look at that. I mean, quite crazy. You don't know what's going to do next. Coming off or... I think it's partly aided by the fact that it's got these two little propeller blades here, which helps to give it what feels like a propulsion. I don't know, but it's probably... It, it certainly works reasonably well face-to-face -face like that when it stabilises, and you can enjoy seeing the light show. But it's uh, apart from that, it's a, a very, very interesting, bizarre use of the spring. This is a nice one. It's a very simple spring toy and it's been very popular. It's been out for years. Can you see the interior of this? There's actually a little, little rubber sucker. Well, there's a plastic sucker there. And what you've got to do is, <laughs> finger, you've got to do a bit of that to get moisture. And that then holds on tightly and it suddenly pops up after a while. I'll put it on the table and do it. If I hold it like that and make it pop up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep going, keep going. I pushed it too hard, didn't I? Is it moving up? Yes. Now let's do it actually on the table, which is really quite quite dramatic. This will this will pop up way above the um, camera view, nearly halfway up to my ceiling. Push it down like that to hold it. Stand back. Don't put your, uh, your head over it, otherwise you'll get it in the eye, and it'll pop up. Whoa! That was fantastic, wasn't it? 
amazing little piece. <laughs> but the last one to show you is um, this one of these wonderful balls, which has got a spring on it. This one here has got a spring. I do love springs, which have attached to toys. There's the spring bit. It's one of the plastic springs. Slinky. It's got a tail to it at one end. It's got a place for the whole end. And it's got a face at it, a cheerful looking face. And he's attached by a bit of nylon to this ball, which has got eccentric weight. And it will go all over the place. So to turn it on, this is one of these very clever little motors where the whole motor turns around, which is ingenious. There we are, a motor, there's batteries inside already put in. Turn this on just by pushing it, and the motor will start to turn around. But it's got eccentric weight in it, a heavy weight, so it's oh goodness, I can't get it in. We are. So let's push it in. We are. See, now it's going to perform. And it goes all over the place. Oh my goodness me. He's having a whale of a time. Whoa. So that's a yet another use of a spring. Jolly good spring too, I think. That's a very, very clever toy. A lot of fun for kids. And pets too. I think to drive the cat mad if you put it on a hard floor. Keep springing. 